Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a brand intro and also some product reviews. So Sayuri Marie is a company that specializes in pretty much handmade organic body care products, skin care, um, bath care products, hair care products, things along that sort. And they use all natural ingredients. There's no like preservatives, no artificial coloring or like scent, and parabens and all those chemicals and all that jazz. Their products are made from teas, herbs, essential oils, and things of that sort. So Sarah Marie has sent me five products to review for you guys, and I'm just going to jump right in. First off, I'm gonna start with like the bath stuff. All right, so first product we have here is um, a lavender bath salt. Now, I am not a bath girl, to be honest with you guys. I am a shower girl. Baths take way too long for me. I feel like I don't have time to really, you know, lay in my bathtub and relax, even if I wanted to. So showering for me is the closest I can get to like that relaxation thing when you, you know, take a bath or shower. So these bath products really did kind of give me like a, a reason to, to kind of take some time and just like give myself some me time, some relaxed time and all that. So pretty much we have here some bath salts. I didn't really know how much to put in my bath. I felt like I was putting too little and then I was putting too much. I didn't want to dump in like half the, you know, jar or the container of the bath salt. So I was just kind of like beep, 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 and then kind of just felt the water or I honestly don't know how much I put in. Um, the lavender smell is actually, you know, strong when you sniff it straight from the container, but in the water, I didn't really smell it that much. That could have been me not putting it in enough. It was there, but very, very faint. Um, it wasn't something like, oh, lavender. It was just like you had to kind of search for it. I've never really used bath salts, so I don't really know on what basis to um, compare it with. So from just like my experience with this product on its own, um, it's not exactly my favorite. I wouldn't mind using it again, but I don't really think it's something that I would personally purchase for myself. Now the next item is also a bath item. I don't really have the item here to show you guys because it's something that after you use it is not really presentable anymore. So I did film some clips beforehand and it is their onsen bath tea. Now I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now when I saw this, I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever. You have this like bag, like this little satchel pull string bag. And what's in it is some sodium chloride, which is, you know, salt, some rose hip, um, hibiscus, orange peel, green tea, rose essential oil, and orange essential oil. Now what's cool about this um, bath tea is you pretty much just close it tightly, have your bath ready, and then you put it in the bath for it to soak. And it actually changes the color of your bath. For this particular one, it was like a pinky red kind of color. This item was kind of fun because I felt really like fancy. Like the people who like bathe in rose petals, that, that's how it felt like to me. So yeah, I actually quite enjoyed it and I could smell the scent more. So I guess the aromatherapy part for this one is a lot, was a lot more there for me. It was definitely a good experience uh, with this product. Um, the relaxation and like, I don't know, it just, I felt really nice afterwards. Definitely a, um, treat yourself kind of product but yeah the experience really did make me feel de-stressed so i like that one i i definitely like the uh, bath tea all right next is the last bath shower product and this is my favorite one it is their body polish and bamboo charcoal detox and i'm just gonna show you guys um how it looks like we go yeah it looks kind of scary because it's just all black um but it's not that scary i really really love the scent of this it's just so uh, i don't know how to say it it's just like so it makes you feel like calm it's like a kind of like a very earthy scent and actually, can I see the ingredients in this? I, I can't really pinpoint the main scent. It kind of smells like a mix of like 
lemongrass and ginger but that could be just me but pretty much it's really nice woodsy kind of earthy smell so i really do like that the charcoal is to help you know uh, detoxify your skin and um remove the impurities and toxins and whatnot there's also um coconut oil in this for hydrating the skin and moisturizing the skin and the exfoliant part then use the sugar now just a quick note with this product it does stain the skin um so if you were just to like grab some on your hand and then like you know and then apply it the initial area where you like slather on the product does leave like a black stain even when you're like rinsing off the product but to get rid of it for me i just use my bath lily and wet it and then go over the area and it just like disappears afterwards um do not use any like washcloth or bath lily that's light colored because it's gonna stain use something that's dark uh, so you don't see the stain after using this product my skin felt so soft it was I don't even know. It was just like so soft. It, it felt as if I bathed in a tub of lotion or something. And, and it's not just me who noticed how soft my skin uh, felt, but <laughs> actually the, uh, the first time I used it and I came out of the shower and I was actually um, with my boyfriend. We were sitting and what were we doing? I think we were watching a movie or something and you know just cuddling and whatnot. And he looks at me and he's like, you're really soft today. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of strange, but yeah, he complimented me on how smooth and soft my arms felt. So that was the first and um, it was right after I took a shower and using this product. So I'm pretty sure it's from this product because he's never said that before. So I guess it gets the boyfriend approval as well. One recommendation though, I do not recommend you put this um, in your shower where water can hit it because even though the labels are laminated, it seems that water is still able to leak in and smudge like uh, the labels and stuff. Yeah, just leave this, I guess, somewhere in your restroom but or, some, or take it out when you want to use it for your bath but I don't recommend putting it inside your bath with all your like shampoos and soaps and stuff because there's a high chance that the label is going to smudge everywhere and you're going to get like ink everywhere so don't do that all right so the last two products are lip products i'm very picky with my lip care products just because uh i have really dry lips if you guys you know watch my previous videos you might know that i mentioned this quite a bit that i have like the chronic dry lip or dry lips i don't have one lip but yeah uh, my lips are really dry uh, just because my water intake is not as good as I want it to be so most of the time I'm like dehydrated or something so my lips are not as moist and plump as I want them to be uh, so yeah I'm quite critical when it comes to lip care product I'll just to let you guys know all right so there's two lip products that they sent me they sent me their lip butter scrub in cocoa and vanilla and also their organic lip butter um, and matcha green tea and I just I really love the packaging I just think it's like the cutest thing ever these little jars uh, I know some people might not like this because the whole like dipping your fingers in is kind of unsanitary so with the lip butter scrub it's made with sugar um, extra virgin olive oil sweet almond oil, rice bran oil, grapeseed oil, all these other oils, <laughs> cocoa butter, and vitamin E, and vanilla extract, just a lot of oils and the products that I mentioned. So pretty much, um, everything in here is pretty much edible. So that's nice. The smell, it smells like vanilla. So that's what it looks like inside. That you guys can see that the first time i tested out this product i just you know went to my sink applied it on kind of left it on there for like a few minutes and like try to scrub off my like dry freaking lips um all the dry skin on my lips i didn't feel like it worked out too well just because my lips were really dry and i mean it took out some of the dead skin but not all of it the second time i used it it was actually after i showered so my lips were already like 
really soft and the skin was kind of soft as well and then I used it and it worked much better and it also left my lips feeling quite moisturized as well so for those who like lip scrubs this product might be for you personally for me it's not my favorite out of the two because I'm more like a washcloth kind of girl like using a washcloth but I kind of do feel that may be a little bit abrasive last product is this green tea lip butter now, ugh, to open it up, to show you guys, it's uh, just pretty much a light green lip butter. Now, when I first started testing out this lip butter, I didn't like it. And the reason why was because I felt that it wasn't effective for my lips. I'm used to, like, I'm used to lip balms that are, like, very waxy and where I can apply it in, like, the day and then maybe an hour or two later, my lips are, like, super soft where this dead skin is so soft that I can literally like peel it off. I know that sounds gross and it's a really bad habit. You can ask my boyfriend, my friends. I have a really bad habit of peeling off the dry skin of my lips just because it's so annoying to me. Yeah, I know it's gross but I can't help but do it. And with the waxy lip balms, it helps because it makes the skin um, soft enough so when I peel it, my lips don't bleed. So when I started using this lip balm, I was just like, this is not moisturizing enough for me. This feels, this is nothing compared to what I need. But I kept using it. And so I continued to use this product for a week. And amazingly, I started noticing a difference in my lips. And then I realized this is more like a long-term lip care product. And what I mean by that is that with the lip balms I'm used to, um, like Burt's Bees lip balm is like my favorite. Um, it's the only lip balm like I can buy in the stores that actually helps with my dry lips and even with my Burt's Bees lip balm you know you use it and my lips are soft enough where I can do the nasty peeling thing or it's just soft but then the next morning the next day my lips are dry again so it's like it's only soft for that moment when the lip balm is like on my lips but once the lip balm like you know fades or like wash it off or whatever my lips are kind of back to their original dry state but with this lip butter it wasn't like that you didn't see results right away like my lips were still like slightly dry but as the days went on my lips were really really soft i could go like a day or two or three without using it and my lips would still feel moisturized so it truly did moisturize I feel like my lips from like not just the top layer but like it sank in and like made everything all nice and soft and like hydrated like throughout and just to read off some of the oils or actually there's a lot of oil in this there's we have organic coconut oil organic olive oil organic canola oil palm oil organic palm oil beeswax sweet almond oil grapeseed oil soybean oil shea butter uh, matcha green tea, argan oil, and vitamin E. So as you can see, a lot of moisturizing um, oils are in this lip butter. So that's pretty much it for my review. So just again, my favorite products from the five. Number one would be the body polish, the bamboo charcoal detox body polish. And then number two would be the organic lip butter and the matcha green tea. And number three would be the... Um, Olsen bath tea, the one in the, the, the little tea baggie, huge tea baggie that I showed in my clip. So thank you Sayur Marie for sending me these products to review and thank you guys for watching. I'll have all the products listed down in the description box for you to check out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!